हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक डियर स्टूडेंट्स विश यू ऑल स्टे हैप्पी हेल्दी एंड सेफ एट होम एंड डू योर स्टडीज रेगुलरली एंड प्रॉपरली आई एम योजना पारक एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अ चैप्टर फॉर स्टैंडर्ड टेन स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम योर इंग्लिश टेक्स्ट बुक फुट प्रिंट्स विदाउट फीड दिस इज योर सप्लीमेंट्री रीडर फ्रॉम दिस बुक वी आर गोइंग टू सी द फोर्थ चैप्टर अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ ट्रस्ट written by victor kenning now why this title has been given to this chapter because this chapter is about a robbery a theft and here the question arises that to whom we should trust so that is why here the title is given a question of trust now what happened there and how Uh, that question arises that to whom we should trust or whether we should trust on anyone or not why this happened that we are going to know in the chapter so let us begin everyone thought that horace stanby was a good honest citizen he was about 50 years old and unmarried and he lived with a housekeeper who worried over his health in fact he was usually very well and happy except for attacks of hay fever in summer citizen that means a legally recognized subject or national of a state or commonwealth either native or naturalized citizen that is a recognized person for a nation here this citizen refers to a person housekeeper that means a person employed to manage a household hay fever that is an allergy caused by pollen or dust in which the mucus membranes of the eye and nose are inflamed causing running of the nose and watery eyes he has allergy from pollen now let us see the meaning of this paragraph everyone thought where horace denby used to live his neighbors surrounding society used to think that horace denby was a very good and honest citizen he is a very good and honest person he was about 50 years old and unmarried so still he was bachelor and he lived with a housekeeper the one who looks after his house and he for his health also so the housekeeper used to take care of the house and uh, also for the horace denby and the housekeeper always used to be worried over the health of horace stanby in fact he was usually very well and happy except for attacks of hay fever in summer now horace stanby used to be very well but just he had the attacks of hay fever only in summer hay fever is an allergy he had an allergy from pollen pollen uh, that is a part of flowers and in summer especially whenever he come uh, near by flowers few kind of flowers especially so uh, he had the allergy from the pollen of those flowers so he could not control himself and he start sneezing that is called hay fever now here the description about horace denby is given that he is a healthy good and honest person people think so he is 50 years old and still unmarried he is still bachelor he lives with a housekeeper who always worried about his health and who looks after his house so he is very well except just in summer he get attacks of hay fever he get an allergy from 
pollen and he starts sneezing. He made locks and was successful enough at his business. To have two helpers, yes, Horan Denbai was good and respectable but not completely honest. Fifty years ago, Horace had served his first and only sentence in a prison library. Sentence that is the punishment again assigned to a defendant found guilty by a court or fixed by law for a particular offense. Now, Horace Denby used to make locks and was very successful in his business. Even he had to help us also. Yes, Horace Denby was a good, he was a good person and respectable also in the society. But he was not completely honest. He was honest but not completely. Sometimes he used to lie and do uh, things which were not right. Now what are those things? We will get to know in the next paragraph. 15 years ago, before 15 years, that means right now he is 50 years old. Uh, so when he was 35 years old, he got the first sentence to be in prison and he saw that sentence that punishment in the prison library that was his first and only punishment in prison for the first and last time he went to prison he loved rare expensive books so he robbed a safe every year each year he planned carefully just what he would do stole enough to last for 12 months and secretly bought the books he loved through an agent now walking in the bright july sunshine that means it was the time of summer he felt sure that this year robbery was going to be as successful as all the others he was a successful robber and every time whenever he robbed, he was successful in it. So, so he thinks that this time also I will be successful in the robbery as like always. For two weeks he had been studying the house at Shotover Grange. Looking at its rooms, its electric wiring, its paths and its garden. Safe that is a strong fireproof cabinet with a complex lock used for the storage of valuables. Hindi mein se tijori kehte hain jahan par we can uh, keep valuable things and that is fireproof and also the lock of that safe will be complex so that no one be easily able to open it. Now let us understand. Horace Stanby used to love rare and expensive books. He really liked rare and expensive books. So he robbed a safe every year. He used to rob a safe every year to get those expensive rare books. As he had served uh, his first imprisonment in the li prison library. So he started loving books and now it, it became his hobby to collect rare and expensive books. So just to satisfy his hobby, he started robbing safe every year. In a year, he used to rob one safe and that robbery would last for 12 months. Each year he planned carefully just what he would do. He takes a whole year to plan that how and what I have to do to execute the robbery. Stole enough to last for 12 months and the kind of uh, robbery he used to do in that one robbery he used to stole that much uh, valuable things that will last for 12 months. So 
at least for 12 months if you want to uh, if he want to buy some rare and expensive books he won't need more money from that robbery he would get enough money to uh, get books for 12 months so he used to uh, rob rich people and just in one robbery he used to get enough money to spend for 12 months and secretly bought the books he loved through an agent now he used to buy books secretly because as he was a robber the things he used to uh, rob he used to steal directly he won't go to sell those things but through an agent so that he can be safe and the clear image will remain clear in the society so he directly do not do such kind of things after robbery he had kept an agent so through that agent he used to uh, get those books though uh, that agent used to buy those rare and expensive books for horace denby so no one would get to know that this books have been bought by horace denby everyone will think that the uh, the person who is acting like an agent for horace denby uh, is buying those books and he is having that much money because everyone knew that horace denby used to uh, make locks so it is very small business and he cannot afford such rare and expensive books so directly he won't go there because he thought that people might arise questions in their mind so he had kept an agent so people used to think that that agent is rich that person who is acting like an agent for horace denby is rich and he is buying those books so no one will doubt on horace denby so he had planned everything very well now that agent used to uh, buy books for horace denby and in this way after robbing he uh, used to sell those jewelries and valuable things and money and by that uh, money he used to buy precious or you can say expensive and rare books through an agent and in this way he used to collect many rare expensive precious books in his house now walking in the bright july sunshine when he was uh, walking on the path in the bright july sunshine that means in the summer day time he felt sure that this year robbery was going to be as successful as all the others he had done many robberies uh, in this 15 years and he was thinking that this time also the robbery which i am going to perform which i am going to do will be as successful as all other robberies because he never failed in that he planned the robbery very uh, cleverly very uh, intelligently that no one can beat him so he was very smart in that and he took complete year and planned it very carefully so that the robbery can be successful and he won't get in trouble no one will recognize him as thief <clears throat> so in this way he had planned very well and he was thinking that this time also i will be successful in the robbery for two weeks he had been studying the house at short over grange so this is the place where he was about to do the robbery and for that he was planning for two weeks and he had been studying the house now he had planned how he had to do the robbery and what precaution he had to uh, take before uh, robbing the house the safe for two weeks he had only been studying the house the map of the house where and what has been kept 
looking at its rooms its electric wiring its paths and and its garden that from where he had to enter and where he had to go what people he might find there how he had to deal with them and where was the safe how he had to open the safe as he used to make lock it was easy for him to understand that uh, what kind of lock it was and how it would be open and what he what he may find uh, in that uh, uh, safe because he used to rob only rich people so in this kind of uh, every kind of aspect he had thought in those uh, 12 months and he had planned it very carefully and cleverly this afternoon the two servants who remained in the grange while the family was in london had gone to the movies horace saw them go and he felt happy in spite of a little tickle of hay fever in his nose he came out from behind the garden wall his tools carefully packed in a bag on his back grange that is a country house with farm buildings attached so that house was situated in a wide open area where not much people used to live and they had a big house and nearby the house there was farm so that place is known as grange now in that house only two servants used to live the whole family used to live in london and those servants had gone to movies now there was no one in the house horace saw them go so he was confirmed that as the family doesn't live here and even the servants are also going for movies that means there will be no one and if i will rob in this house the doubt will go to the servants not on me and he felt happy in spite of a little tickle of hay fever in his nose now he was very much happy just he had only one problem that he had the allergy of hay fever and he was feeling tickle in his nose he came out from behind the garden wall so that no one will be able to see him secretly he entered his tools all the tools needed for the robbery were carefully packed in a bag on his back now he had done many robberies in the past 15 years and he was very successful in it never he got caught in those robberies and uh, he was that clever and smart that whenever he used to rob he used to make a perfect plan so that he won't get in trouble now this time also he had made a secure and safe plan cleverly and he was sure that this time also he will be successful in the robbery and he won't get any kind of trouble there was about 15000 pounds worth of jewels in the grange safe if he sold them one by one he expected to get at least 5000 enough to make him happy for another year there were three very interesting books coming up for sale in the autumn now he would get the money he wanted to buy them he had seen the housekeeper hang the key to the kitchen door on a hook outside so he was observing everything pounds that means basic monetary unit of the uk equal to 100 pence autumn this season uh, the season after summer and before winter in the northern hemisphere from september to november and in the southern hemisphere from march to may 
if he sold them one by one he expected to get at least 5000 because the one whom he will sell probably he would already know that these are stolen thing so he won't give the exact amount but he might get 5000 that means 10000 less so he was expecting that he would get at least 5000 or more than that but not less than that so this uh, 5000 pounds uh, was enough to make him happy for another year now in the next year he also won't have to rob so this much amount will be satisfactory for him for this year also and for the next year also he only robbed to get rare and expensive books not for his living so now you can say that he was a thief with some principles and values and uh, he never crossed that line he only do the robbery for buying books not for his living that was his principle that he will do the robbery only for the uh, books and for his living he was doing his profession so that is why it was said in the initial paragraph that he was good and honest but not completely honest he put on a pair of gloves took the key and opened the door he was always careful not to leave any fingerprint a small dog was lying in the kitchen it stirred made a noise and moved its tail in a friendly way all right sherry horace said as he passed all you had to do to keep the dogs quiet was to call them by their right names and show them love the safe was in the drawing room behind a rather poor painting horace wondered for a moment whether he should collect pictures instead of books stirred that means move or cause to move slightly so now he was ready that there is no one in the house and the plan was ready to be executed he put on the pair of gloves in his hand and took the master key to open the house and he opened the door he wore the gloves because he was very careful and he never left his fingerprints on anything so that he won't get caught a small dog was lying in the kitchen that is why the uh, servants left the house because they had uh, kept the dog in the house so that the dog can uh, uh, guard the house now that ha- the dog was in the house lying in the kitchen and when that dog heard some noise when the horse entered in the house uh, he got alert and he moved slightly and moved its tail in a friendly way for the first look he was not certain that who is there so as he uh, usually used to wag his tail so he was moving his tail because now he was alert he was not sleeping when he heard the sound and just to make him calm horace said all right sherry sherry was the name of that dog and horace knew that only the way to keep dogs quiet is just to call them by their right name so that they will feel that they know uh, the dog and show them some uh, love if you will show some love to the animal the animal will feel friendly with you and will not bark at you will not create any harm so in this way horace managed that dog also and he went straightly to the drawing room where he knew the safe was kept behind a rather poor painting that painting was not so good but behind that painting there was a safe when horace saw that painting he wondered he thought for a moment that whether he should collect pictures instead of books might be picture collecting pictures would be more interesting than uh, collecting books 
but they took up too much room in a small house books were better because he used to live in a small house and paintings will take too much space in the room so for once he thought that he should uh, collect paintings it was also an interesting hobby but then he thought no in small house i cannot uh, keep that collection so in small house books are better i should collect books only so my hobby is quite right for me there was a great bowl of flowers on the table and he had hay fever he had allergy from pollen and horace felt his nose tickle tickle that means in a way that causes mild discomfort or itching and often laughter so he was feeling itching in his nose he gave a little sneeze and then put down his bag so he sneezed once because of the allergy from the flowers and then he put down his bag he carefully arranged his tools he had 4 hours before the servant returned because the movie was for 4 hours now the safe was not going to be hard to open because he was uh, he used to make locks so he knew how to do this kind of things after all he had lived with locks and safes all his life the burglar alarm was poorly built he knew that burglar alarm doesn't work very well he went into the hall to cut its wire but for safety he went into the hall and cut the wire of burglar alarm so no one will get to know that a theft is going to be in this house now tickle that means mild discomfort or itching burglar that is a person who commit theft he entered after uh, making that dog silent he entered in the room in the drawing room where behind that poor painting there was the safe when he saw the painting for once he thought that might be painting collecting is a good hobby but then he thought that in a small house books are better and uh, i should continue with my hobby and there was a bowl of flowers he had allergy from flowers so uh, because of the smell because of the pollen of flowers uh, he uh, felt itching in his nose and he sneezed so a sound was created by him he thought that there is no one in the house so he was uh, uh, comfortable and careless about that that even if i make sound who will hear he carefully arranged his tools and he had 4 hours because the servants had gone to watch movies so they want to return before 4 hours <clears throat> now the safe was not going to be hard to open because he had lived all his life with locks and safes so he knew how to open safe and the burglar alarm was the only problem not the dog not the safe nor uh, there was anyone in the house so the only problem was burglar alarm he knew that it was poorly built so uh, there was rare chances that burglar alarm will create any uh, trouble but still for safety he went to the hall and cut its wire so that the burglar alarm won't ring and he can do his task do his task safely and calmly and completely without any trouble he came back and sneezed loudly as the smell of flowers came to him again when he was coming back uh, from that hall to the drawing room again he sneezed because the smell of the flowers tickled in his nose how foolish people are when they own valuable things horens thought he thought that when they are having valuable things should they keep this uh, these valuable things in the safe where they are not living and they have relied on the servants they do not care for these valuable things how careful the people are and how foolish they are a magazine article had described this house now another reason why he called those people 
foolish because the article about this house was given in a magazine describing everything about the house giving a plan of all the rooms and a picture of this room also the writer had even mentioned that the painting hid a safe now he did but horace found that the flowers were hindering him in his work he buried his face in his handkerchief hindering that means make it difficult for someone or to do something or for something to happen sneeze that means make a sudden involuntary expulsion of air from the nose and mouth due to irritation of one's nose trills so now he had planned everything but the only problem was the flowers but he did not uh, touched or moved the flowers because he did not want to create uh, any kind of mess or any kind of mistake so everything was just as it is only he had to touch was the safe nothing else so as the flowers were uh, creating trouble for him so he buried his face in his handkerchief he uh, tied a handkerchief on his nose so that he won't get trouble by that flowers with this we come to an end of this video now what happens at that house whether he successfully uh, do the robbery or not and whether he will be caught or not that we are going to see in the next part till then take care of yourself be safe and do your studies regularly now we will meet in the next video thanks for being with me see you